Good day, my dear friends. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you the most simplest way of how to light your dandelion clock up or your macro subjects up for under £10. So if you're interested, link pictures like this. Stay tuned. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm Leo, as you're already now. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I found this most simplest way of lighting up a macro subject I can ever think of. Now, I have been looking around for a while to try and think how I can do it to simplify things, and I think I've just about found it. What are we going to be needing today? We're not going to be needing a flash. We're not going to be needing our torches. We're going to be using a camera. I'm going to be using my 750D with a macro lens on. But if you haven't got a macro lens, you can use extension tubes. Still works exactly the same. Now for the main thing. This is what we're going to be using. This little gadget here. That's all it is. And what it is, it's an LED light turntable. I will be putting the link in the descriptions below. This cost me 9 99 from Amazon UK and it's absolutely brilliant. When I mean brilliant, I mean brilliant. The table actually rotates round. So you can imagine you got it, 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 what you can do with it. You've seen me do my, um, my dandelions. I also use this for my slinkies. As you can see the slinky going round, you're probably not going to see the light because my field lights are on. You haven't got to have this turning either, you can put it so it's solid. And what happens is, is in between there, there's seven LED lights and they constantly turn colour. So this is how I've been getting my pictures and my clocks. So now I've showed you this, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up quickly and show you how simple it is because... We don't need no lights. All we're going to use is we're going to make the camera work for us instead of us working for the camera. This is what I say. We don't need no flashes. We're going to use all the settings on there. So I'm actually going to take it in. This we're going to use in this light to light everything up. And all we're going to do is use settings on there to take the picture. So if you're ready now, I've explained that. I'm going to get this set up. It's so simple. It's seconds. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually set it up. And this is how simple this is. Really is simple. We're just going to get the clock out. We're going to find the clock we want to use. Which is probably the hardest part of it all. Because I've got so many. We're going to get the clock. And all we're going to do is we're going to stick it like that in some modelling clay or some blue tack. Simple as. Nothing hard, but what I am going to do is make sure, like I said before, you need that dish to be perfect. If the dish ain't perfect, it's obviously going to drop out, or it's, should I say it's harder for it to keep on. In the middle of this light, there's a white LED light, but I don't want that white LED light to shine on. So what I've done is got my modelling clay a little bit fatter than normal. What I'm actually going to do is place it in the middle of that white light because I don't want that white light to shine through because it sort of oil lights so everything up too much all we want to, all we want is the colour lights to light it all up so that is it basically that's how simple it is okay so what I've done now is I've actually put it on this glass dish this is just so it's oil for me for when I take the pictures because I ain't going to be using a tripod because my camera settings will be sufficient enough that I can actually hold it. If you want to use a tripod, feel free to. It'll be even more steadier. You can probably slow it down a little bit more. Like I say, the settings I'm giving you is the settings I'm using today. The lights will make a big difference in your house on the sort of settings you make. But these will start you off perfectly. Like I say, my studio lights are going to cause me a lot of pain today. But I can't do nothing with that. So let's get to that. So what I've done, I've got it on here now, flat. 
Yeah, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one single drop on, like I showed you before, I'm gonna build it up. So I'm just gonna get ready. Put one tiny one in the middle, like that. Then just add it a little bit more. So I've got my drop now perfect on there. As you can probably see, you might see, you might not see, the colours are all changing. It's absolutely beautiful. It, and what, with the settings I'm going to be using today, it makes it even more easier because all I'm going to be using is 180 for the, one, one forward slash 80 of the power, F4, and I'm going to be at ISL 100. Now, like I said, we, I'm going to be hand holding it because I can turn it around, but this will also give you a pure black background. Unless you say pure, it'll give you a good background as well because what we're doing is we're using the lights coming up from here to light it up, as you can probably see. It will make a big difference. So all we're going to do now is we're going to focus. So I'm going to put my camera on one to one. Like I say, if you've got, like I say, extension tubes, you extension tubes. So I'm going to get my focus, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to be rocking backwards and forwards until it's in focus, and then I'm going to take a shot. So we're rocking forward. Got one. And I'm quite happy with that. I like portrait as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in portrait, lock it off. And like I say, you're going to keep taking the shots because the lights are going to change. I hope you enjoyed that bit of a tutorial. I told you how simple it'd be. 999 Amazon, like I said, and I will put the link down in the comment box below. It's, it's brilliant that you can just flick a switch, three batteries, put your dandelion clock on top, or your dandelion seed, should I say, add a droplet, and let it do the work. Like I said, I've also used it for my slinkies, and that worked brilliant as well. It just, just lights the subject up so nice, and simple and it, it just gives you that moon nice moody effect like you can see simple things make photography a lot easier a lot of people at the moment are trying to overdo and complicate things and they're saying to me they can't do it they can't get it right my settings are not right you ain't doing i ain't doing this i can't do this you can do this you can my settings are a rough guide my settings might work in my house but they might not work outside, they might not work in your house because your light's totally different to what I use. So like I says, these are my settings and these are roughly on the guideline. ISL 100, that's a, that's a fact, that's what you need to be on. So, 3.5, yep. Or it could be 2.5 or 4.5 or 6, I don't know, I can't tell you what it is in your house. Shutter speed, if you go to a tripod, you might be able to slow it down a bit more, which will brighten your picture up a bit more, and then get better light. So it's all trial and error. But like I say, just drop your clock on, just drop it on, and try it, have a look. You don't need no flashes. If you've got to use a flash, it ain't worth it, because the colour on this, on the on the LED, the colour on the LED actually lights everything up, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that to do the work, and we're along with the camera. Why should so we don't want to flash on it or anything else? I mean, it's simple, you know. It's like say, changes color, the atmosphere will change, so you can take a shot. The next shot's going to be totally different because the lights changing. So when the lights change and mix, perfect. So I hope you've enjoyed this bit of a tutorial. I told you how easy it'd be. If you've got any friends that are interested or you're in a photography club, please share them. Share me. Share my site. Please tell everybody about it. I mean, that's what it's all about. Sharing. Sharing's caring, as I say. <laughs> so make sure you share. And thank you ever so much for watching. And thank you for all the nice comments and welcoming back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I've been off, but like I say, I've been doing, trying to sort my computer out, sort my new editing out, and sort one thing another out. If you're interested, I'm going to be doing live at 8 o'clock on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Me and Stuart Wood ask us anything. It should be a good fun time and it should be a laugh. So if you're about or you're interested, Pop over to my channel and have a watch and ask me, ask us anything you want to. Uh, we'll do our best to answer every question. It should be fun. I'm a bit nervous seeing it's my first one live, so I don't know how it's going to work. So I can't press stop and start on the camera. So fingers crossed. But if you've enjoyed it, like I say, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification button. And until next time.
Thank you for watching. Stay safe and happy snapping.